Hello folks, Jerry here and welcome back to, uh, well, Top Drives and uh, today it's a very special day because we will be getting our first epic. Now if you guys completed the campaign you guys very likely know uh, which one is gonna be but I am excited for it regardless because, well, here it is. Uh, basically I was farming the whole um, campaign uh, section of camera so as you guys can see i complete all of these events and basically now we can get the cls which um kind of uh, kind of excited about that uh i'm not sure uh uh what the track sets will be but i uh, i hope that i find enough um i mean more like speed oriented obviously but yeah, I did uh, uh, kind of, um, you know, complete a lot of uh, races off camera, and I did end up maxing a bunch of my cars. So, there you go. We're gonna do it like this. Uh, that should be fine enough, I believe. Let's go ahead and take a look. Um, I hope there's at least two drags there, and there are. Uh, okay, I mean, the, that already won't reach 150, so that's fine. And one mile drag, this is probably gonna be close. Hmm, 5 8. Yeah, we're gonna take this one, and this one, and this one, and we're just gonna, you know, fail that one. Okay, kind of weird because I don't see the epic car in here. Uh,. Okay, we just badly lost that. God damn it. Still though, we should be able to win the remaining ones. Kind of glad I actually decided to upgrade the Camaro instead of the ZL1 Corvette because of the, uh, because of the medium right height. There you go, this was no contest. And I think we got this one as well. Yeah, we do, okay. And then we will be losing this one, but not by 250 because he's not, you know, obviously gonna reach that right oh my god just fucking ended at uh, 149 that was lucky anyway let's see that's all I have to say and BAM it's our first fucking epic this is a card which I sold in my original campaign and uh, I regret it very much because this thing is actually a beast in the rain obviously be because of the standard tires it's kind of weird because we have like zero ultra rares and yet we have an epic which is basically gonna take up all of our, our queue. I mean I can see why people would sell this thing because you know 65,000 at this point is a lot but uh, we cannot have that so we will be keeping that. Obviously you know this is a zero budget playthrough so any epic that I get uh, I will not be selling on any of this stuff because all of me getting it again are uh, kind of small. So, hell yeah, our first epic. Also, uh, we did actually save up enough gold to get some slots and a ceramic and 10 grand. So, we're gonna be buying this. Uh, it's actually a surprisingly good deal, so let's take that. I'm not sure about the other deals uh, that we're gonna have with our RQ going up, but. Uh, I don't know, I just hope it's something good, so let's see. Uh, okay, it's a Ford Kuga, that's... It's all surface, but nothing special. Actually, this is very useful. Uh, the Renault uh, with its grip, that's gonna come in hand. 10 grand, and 5 slots. I'll uh, actually happily take that, that's, uh, that's good. We got some extra slots, so that's uh, the best thing about it, but obviously the... Cleo is uh, it's gonna come in handy as well so pretty happy about that well I also just got this while farming and this is probably gonna be our most used rare class car in the game the El Camino so amazing cannot wait to max this out obviously on the engine and wait this is gonna kick ass I should probably acknowledge his point that I did not really answer any questions that you guys had about this game like I promised in the first episode and that's because there really wasn't um, well any questions so far I mean I got a suggestion that I should max a Twingo out which you know I will for a meme eventually just not sure which one but uh, you know 
at this point in this episode i think it might be um you know about uh time to actually take a look at how our garage is progressing also i just hit rq70 so we're gonna go ahead and open this which at this point it could be an aluminium i am hoping we're gonna see now it's gonna be a steel pack and we actually get the mahari which is gonna be rather useful because it's the only four-wheel drive car in the game i mean when it's maxed it's 0 to 60 is like 17 seconds but still at least it'll it'll complete a hill climb oh we get uh, some fuse material nissan micra and a nissan cube that's fuse material uh 1000 10 gold and one slot okay i was hoping for something better but uh well here's now um well, 5 grand slots, 10 grand carbon fiber, uh, do not have gold. I mean, I bought the ceramic for 500 earlier, but even if I didn't, uh, there is very little chance that I would get uh, 500 gold in the, you know, until this expires, so that's sadly not gonna happen. Um, let's take a look at this challenge, though. Maybe, uh, maybe I can make this work somehow. Maybe. Okay, so we are now done with the stage 2 thing and we got uh, a decent amount, uh, amount of money out of it. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our garage. So obviously the epic bands that's uh, currently the highlight unfortunately still not upgrade at all but other than that we got well like three super rares uh the brz which i uh i think i upgraded actually i didn't i'm probably upgraded uh upgrade just in weight so it can win against any stock ones but i'm gonna leave that for now now the clio that we got out of the crime earlier uh, that's probably, um, I'm probably gonna max that out eventually at uh, handling, uh, I mean, on uh, weight and chassis, chassis, whatever, uh, whatever. Uh, there are better, uh, uh, I mean, um, Super Air Reynolds out there, but it's currently the best we have, and yeah, the Reynolds 5 tur Turbo, I will be maxing that out. It's actually kind of a priority because it has godlike mid-range even if it has low top speed the quattro is pretty useful the z3 i will be fusing that shortly the el camino need to max that out asap as well uh will really come in handy once it's maxed it already is useful but it can obviously be even better now the ranger uh down there which is currently fusing again is uh Currently my best off-roader and I need to max that out on engine just so it can be at least halfway uh, good in hill climbs. The Caterham yet to upgrade it, obviously will be maxing out Z28 um, in some time, it's not a priority. The MX-5 probably fuse material just like the Corvette, the Camaro is close to maxed, even though I should probably put my resources from that car into the Impala, um, only need to max this out. Um, on chassis but that's not a priority one of the Orlandos is going to be fused the other is maxed and it's I actually have very little maxed cards right now the Qashqai actually really good we'll be maxing that out also the first tires hell yeah the Vectra I probably don't need it as much anymore considering I have the Quattro we'll be keeping the MG just because it's a kick-ass uh, city streets car for the uncommon class the sported bag, always nice to have. Um, we'll be maxing uh, the bands out, uh, primarily for test balls, and because and because it can actually hit like uh, higher speeds on certain challenges. The Primera probably gonna be selling that actually. Um, now have better cars, and you know these seven grand can come in handy. The Prelude, still don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Will I max it out? Not 100% sure, but the Honda Beat is now maxed, so that's completely where my garage is at. And uh, we'll be um, maxing some of these cars out. I actually have some money now, so I can upgrade them. Obviously, uh, I can probably go ahead and... Uh, let's see, do we have any fuse material? Um, we do, actually. Let's add these three uncommon cars. Skipping the Mahari, obviously. Uh, we'll be adding that. And keeping that. 
but come on, what's the Impala? There you go. I uh, don't need uh, to upgrade the chassis on that one yet. It's just a waste of money currently. Let's fuse that up. Okay, what else can we fuse right now? Um, the BRZ, no, not really. I guess the Quattro, considering that, uh, you know, all my stuff is currently uh, repairing right now. I'm sorry about the back noise, the neighbors are actually fixing something up. Hmm. Handling or engine? Let's go on engine, um, because this thing is uh, currently my best uh, off-road uh, drag car, okay? Don't want to uh, waste the already upgraded one. And the cube, there you go. Bye-bye. Okay, anything else here that I could potentially upgrade? The Camaro, no, was not using. Let's see what we are currently holding here. Can um, put another car to good fuse here. <laughs> so funny, kill me. Um, hmm. Hmm. The Caterham is super light, so that might be pretty good. And I already have a. Well, I mean, I don't need to upgrade the Camaro more. It's a decent city streets car as it is. So, do I just my, uh, upgrade the Clio? I think that's what I'm gonna do right now actually, yeah. I'm just gonna upgrade this on chassis to 1.3, gonna wait for some fuse material. Actually I have enough uh, things to uh, fuse this up. So let's upgrade the 0 to 60 a bit and we just barely don't have enough money. I can sell the Mahari but I'm not going to. What we can sell is this prelude because i don't think i maybe i had like a few races with it on like the first stage that's about it so we can upgrade this like once and then uh fuse the corvette the mazda would sadly never really got used very much um and then the bmw onto that so we don't have uh, uh, you know the cards that i'm not using very much for the rare class and we have a bunch of slots uh, left open now along with some cars that I will be fusing um, probably in the Caterham or maybe the Z28 considering that's already you know kind of upgraded so that's uh, that's my garage as it currently is I need to um, I need to basically upgrade some of these cars so I can uh, pass the Columbia thing now so I did a lot of actual failed races for the Columbia boss already, uh, however now I believe that I'm prepared. So basically I know that, uh, actually I forgot what the events are, so no, never mind that, but I know that there are two drags here. So I do have my now slightly upgraded El Camino, except on chassis, but it's, it's El Camino, so it really shouldn't matter. Uh, I also have this Camaro maxed out here and ready to kick some ass. Then I believe there's a City Streets event and uh, like two others. I hope so because um, I did a shitload of fusing to these cars in the past two hours. Basically just like, oh my god, did so many fuses. Basically I farmed uh, like these three uh, campaign parts, the UK, France and USA to oblivion. So. Okay, let's go ahead and give this thing a shot now. I do want that Benz, I believe it will be fairly useful, so let's see. Uh, I think that I can also swap um, the Clio, which is now my most grippy car. Here's like uh, the stats of it. I do need to, uh, you know, get some money and put some upgrades on this baby, but uh, let's go for it. So, oh my god, I forgot about the hill climb. Well, never mind, we're gonna be losing that by 250 anyway. I did upgrade my Ranger, but I don't think it's gonna be uh, good enough. So let's see, what we're gonna put here is the Camaro, then, uh, hold on, six, uh, <laughs> we're, we're, I don't think so, I don't think we're gonna win this still, god damn it, why is this so fucking difficult? Hold on, okay, I'm gonna put this thing here. Is here and on the hill climb. Yeah, sure. That might actually make it to the end, and we're gonna lose by like way more than 250 there, which is just amazing. But okay, let's uh, let's see. So we need uh, a few wins here, mainly more than 250 points.
probably more than 300, honestly. So, okay, this does not win by uh, as much as the bands did. The bands won by like 197. But do we have this one? Because previously we just barely lost to this. And now we actually have him. Okay, the upgrades did actually help. Now all we really need is to win or tie this one. And to actually win it. Holy shit, yes! Yes, we are actually getting the freaking... Oh my god, except if this uh, happens. Can, can, can the Audi just like not make it to the end? It, it made it, but we still won. Okay, just badly. God, I need a help one car. Okay, take care of that right. There you go. So here's the bounce with awful stats. But godlike mid range. Actually, not godlike, it's just very decent. So, there you go. That's our first ultra rare car, I believe. And we have a lot of actually rare cars to pick from here. So, we can now farm this. I'm actually not sure whether this thing is upgraded at all for the campaign, but let's go ahead and add this to the garage. We are making uh, some serious progress now. Actually, I cannot upgrade any of this stuff. Quite yet, uh, so let's give this thing a shot again. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace the Quattro with the Ranger, and hopefully that does not lose by that much. It still might. I am not 100% sure about that, but whatever. Can we upgrade the Clio in any way? Yeah, we can. Okay, there you go. Basically, uh, I'm really terrible at saving money. Whatever money I have, I just instantly unload on, uh, you know fusing and upgrading cards, which, you know, could be worse, could be spent on packs, which is not ideal at this point. There you go. Um, not sure about how much that Ranger is gonna lose. Uh, I'm 100% sure it's gonna lose, but not by, not by that much again. Okay, that's cool. There you go, we get the 911, which uh, sadly will not be keeping that, because I have now, well, I have, actually I don't have a very good handling card here. Well, I do have the Caterham, but even the Quattro is better in that respect, so... I don't know. Um, we'll probably need a decent handling card. Like that Miata, the white one, uh, the BBR or whatever it is. I, I'm fairly sure it's not BBR, but uh, that thing just kicks some serious ass. So we'll be farming this some more. Probably till um, the card breaks, like one of five. Because basically I've been using all of these. Uh, heavily. There you go. There's an Alpha Romeo there. There could actually be a useful Alpha Romeo if it's like the Brera. Okay, there you go. That did not uh, last for very long. Okay, fair enough. There you go. We can just... Um, I'm just gonna sell this. Will not be fusing. I mean, I might... As I said, I will max some of these Super Rares out. But uh, yeah, I'm fairly happy that I finally got that. And uh, now I'm gonna farm some more of this. You guys, please let me know if you're even watching up to this point. Do you want, uh, do you like want to see me beat all of these things in like a separate video of me farming out? Because that's probably not gonna be very interesting to watch. Or do you want me to like make, I don't know, um, what is it? Just speeding up the whole process. Because that, I don't know, it, it, it might make like a cool shot, but. It's not uh, worth watching, um, unless you have like uh, an extra, you know, um, question about any of these things and how to beat them, even though I'm not apparently so great at even beating them myself. Also, very soon it's gonna be Lotus time, so can't actually wait to get my hands on this. And um, actually, over here in the USA, it's mainly off-road, but you can actually um, get a Hummer here, so that's gonna help me with this. So, for this episode, I think we made quite a lot of progress, um, definitely got some, uh, you know, useful cars, mainly, you know, the Benz, well, the Benz is, the Renault, and especially the El Camino as well, also the Impala and all that, did I even capture, I mean, did I even record myself getting the Impala, I think it was off camera, that one, but, uh, yeah, quite happy with my garage now, um, obviously these two things, the Sneak, uh, or the snake or whatever the 2cb and the renault 6 will be fused material but uh pretty good stuff so i'm gonna finish it here take care and goodbye